How's it going guys? It's Ninja Soldier here and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, welcome to another episode of NSPW. Now, before we begin, we got some more footage. Okay? And this footage was um, Brian Munson made his way to the arena, getting ready for his match. And um, someone was waiting for him. And that person is not other than Broken Mike. Only reason is because if you've seen the last episode, Broken Mike won the Master of the Ring tournament. So he is the first ever Master of the Ring. And therefore he got a title opportunity against Brian Munson at, my other, at the new pay-per-view, Battle Wars. So Broken Mike's look is... Getting looking to get some revenge backstage and all that sort of stuff because when Brian Munson attacked him after the show, after the last show, Broken Mike was badly hurt. He wasn't moving any muscle, he was completely knocked out cold. But he seems to recover, which is a good thing, so therefore he will still have his match with Brian Munson. And um, yeah, so. Here, this is the footage. And also, I um, just want to make something clear. I was going to do Battle Wars on the 1st of May. But I've changed that for tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be the Battle Wars pay-per-view. And it's going to be a banger of a pay-per-view. I cannot wait to do it. Um, obviously, the, and obviously, the whole stage has now been sorted out. And yeah, it's going to be a banner of a pay-per-view. So tomorrow tomorrow will be Battle Wars. And it's going to be great. But anyway, here is the footage of Broken Mike waiting for Brian Munson before they both have their matches against their opponents tonight. So here we go. Here's the footage. As you can see, Broken Mike just waited for Brian Munson and starts attacking him. Getting some revenge because of the last time Brian Munson attacked him backstage after the tournament was over. And oh, so Broken Mike was not going to take that lying down. So he's getting his revenge right now. So what's Broken Mike going to be doing here? And oh, just throws him to the car. And oh. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Munson, no. Oh. And Munson, no. Oh, my lord. Onto the floor. Oh. Broken mic. Oh, oh, and... Oh Lord! This is not. This is not a match whatsoever. This is just a brawl. Oh, into the car again, my Lord! Broken Mike definitely does mean business. Oh my god, this is not this is not just business anymore, ladies and gentlemen. This is personal. Ooh. And oh Ooh. Oh. 
Ho oh, ho oh, and a punch to the face. And a kick again. My God. Broke my show no remorse. And oh, I hit him with the spear, just cutting him in half. Ooh. And to the car again. Oh, sh holy moly. And the punches again. And oh, oh. Brian Munson, the versus game. Brian Munson thinking, you think you can attack me and get away with it? But then again, Broken Mike is thinking the same. I'm on the reversal. And oh. Oh, what's I'm oh, on a kick to the face. Oh. And another spear. He's literally trying to injure Brian Munson before his match tonight. Brian Munson is main eventing tonight. But I don't think it's Brian Munson going to be in fit condition to do this. But I don't think Broken Mike just cares. He wants his revenge on Brian Munson for attacking him after the tournament. So, Broken Mike is just literally showing no remorse here. And, ooh. Oh, not Brian Munson, though, with the GTS. Oh, my Lord. Broken Mike just gets back up. Broken Mike has got the stop sign. Oh, he just throws it at Brian Munson. Oh. Broken Mike is not finished, and oh! Oh, to the end. Face first to the ambulance. Oh, and reversal though by Brian. On oh, an uppercut, sort of. Oh! Oh, my lord. Oh, Mike is in a pissed off mood. Oh, and that and then that is the footage. Rock Mike in a pissed off mood. Beating down the undefeated Brian Munson. My god, Rock Mike did not take that lying down. He still remembers that sneak attack backstage at the last show after the tournament. But now he's got his own back on Brian Munson. And it's actually quite funny because Broken Mike is actually kicking off the show tonight. And Brian Munson is main inventing. But the question is though, is Brian Munson going to be in any fit state? Is he going to be in any fit state to main event the show tonight? But we gotta, we're going to find out later on. There will be updates. My God. Broken Mike got his revenge. But anyway. On to the show. And here we go. Like I said, Broken Mike is kicking off the show. After what he just did to Brian Munson, he's in a pissed off mood.
And here we go. Bro, come on, get a spiral straight away. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, Lord. Cover. Oh, but Angel Wolf, though, just kicks out. Oh, my God, that spear just broke him in half. My Lord. And on a belly to belly. My Lord. Yeah, Broken Light just showing, showing some aggression. Oh. My lord. Oh, alright. Alright. Oh, oh. Welcome, Mike. I think he's just going to just be just showing a message. Sending a message to Brian Munson. Oh, the chair! Oh, to the face. Oh, my lord. Oh my god! Oh and... Oh my lord! Onto the chair! Onto the broken chair! What's broken my doing? He's not gonna... Not a chair is he? And he is! But he's going back into the ring though! And another chair shot to the face! My God. Oh. Oh, broke away with the GNT now. Uh. Oh, no. But. Oh, wait. Broken Mike just lets go. This is just vicious. Vicious behavior by Broken Mike. But at the end of the day, you cannot blame him. He was attacked at the last show after the tournament by Brian Munson. So you can tell he's in a vicious mood. Showing no goddamn remorse. Angel Wolf is bleeding now. Oh. Rokobai should just finish off the match right now. He has the match won. But no, he just wants he just wants to dish punishment. I think he's just gonna prove a point exactly what he's gonna try to do to Brian Munson tomorrow at Battle Wars. Battle War, sorry. But Angel Wolf do it versus. And so does Broken Mike also with versus. And another reversal by Broken Mike. And oh, oh. My God. The vicious blows is insane. Broken Mike has never been this vicious and dominant before. But this is all thanks to Brian Munson though for attacking him at the last show and oh my god! This is insane! This is absolutely nuts. Broken Mike pretty much just killed Angel Wolf here. Oh no! But Angel Wolf the reversal! I think Broken Mike was going to go for the game tee again. What? Oh no, but Angel Wolf now. Oh. Oh, what's this now? Broken Mike now, and... Oh!
And oh Brock am I getting back getting out getting out of the ring now. What's he gonna do? Oh come on, how many weapons does Broker might need? Now he's got a Kingo stick! He's trying to decapitate Angel Wolf and oh my god! Oh and he just broke the Kingo stick off his head! Oh my god! And oh! And again! The game to you again now! Oh, but Angel will tap, so he has enough! That was just vicious! Here is your winner! Nightmare! Mike. Oh, come on now, what's he doing? What is he doing? Mike, come on, the match is over. Come on, you proved your point. You've proved your point. You've proved your point. Come on. Angel Wolf is battered enough. He's been battered enough. Come on now, man. Come on, Mike. This is enough. Enough's enough. Put on a Superman punch. The spear hole. My God. Broken Mike. Broken Mike. Just literally, that was just a decimating performance here. Proving a point to Brian. Munson, even though he did not compete against Brian Munson, but he's just sending him a message saying this is exactly what's going to happen to him tomorrow night at Battle Wars. But now, Broken Mike actually has something to say, so here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! So, Brian Munson, you think, you think that you can attack me after the Master of the Ring tournament backstage? Waiting for me to attack me and thinking that you can get away with it. <laughs> I don't think so, pal. What I just done to Angel Wolf in the ring, I'm going to do exactly the same to you at Battle Wars tomorrow night. And I will become a world champion again. First ever two time world champion. <laughs> And before I go, Brian Munson, I'm going to wish you luck in your main event match tonight because you're going to need it. <laughs> I hope you're well. I hope you get better for your main event match because even if you recover for your main event match tonight, you're still going to suffer the same pain that you suffered earlier on backstage before the show started. And before I go, Brian Munson, I just added a stipulation to our match. It is not going to be a standard match. No, 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 because I'm not going to stand for that. I want a match where I can decapitate you, where I can punish you, where I can beat the living crap out of you. And in what way to do that? I want you in a last man standing match. Yes. Last man standing match for the undisputed impact world heavyweight championship i see you tomorrow mate <laughs> oh my god you gotta be kidding me the main event for battle wars is going to be a last man standing match brian munson and broken mike in a last man standing match at the main event at battle wars for the undisputed Impact World Heavyweight Championship. Now this is going to be one hell of a match. But anyway, Broken Mike said what he has to say. But now on to the next matchup of NSPW. 
Here we go with the next matchup, the second matchup of the show. Madison May taking on the Women's World Champion, Kissable Demon. Kissable Demon, there she is, the women's champion. Tomorrow at Battle Wars, she's actually defending that women's world title against the fearsome Lilith. And that is going to be a, a match of the making. From the pits of hell, the women's world champion and one half of the women's world tag team. Champions, Kisser Hall Demon. And oh, Kissable Demon shot off with a kick, but Madison May did not go down. And oh. Madison May with a hip butt now. I know the thoughts are by Kissable Demon. Madison May, oh, oh! Oh! Madison May just chair shots. Madison May dominating Kissable here, but oh, deep. Kissable now just reverses. And oh, Kissable Demon now with a finisher of her own. And oh. Oh my god. Madison May just gets back up like it was nothing. And oh, Kissable Demon now and. Oh my god. My God! Another finisher by Kissable. Now a cover. Kissable Demon with the victory. Here is your winner, Kisser Hall Demon. Mini Demon celebrating with her mother. Mini Demon, the first ever Women's Mega Rumble winner. But oh my god, Kissable Demon just pretty much made quick work out of Madison May. She's all set for tomorrow night at Battle Wars where she defends her Women's Championship against the monster Lilith. Now Lilith is a dangerous woman, but then again so is Kissable Demon. So, Kissable Demon will have her hands full tomorrow night against Lilith for the women's title. Will Kissable Demon retain or will Lilith become the new champion? We do not know. You will find out tomorrow night. And also, ladies and gentlemen, Demons by Design, they are yet to actually to defend their women's tag titles. They have not defended them yet, but they will defend them at their battle wars. We don't know against who. But they will defend those tag titles after Battle Wars. But anyway, on to the next matchup. Matchup, Lauren Sandra has taken on the challenger for the women's title, Lilith.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Santa Fe, New Mexico, Lauren Sanchez. Lauren Sanchez now in the ring, ready for Lilith. God, this woman is freaky as hell. The scars on her face just proves that she is one dangerous woman. Like I said earlier, Kissable Demon will will be having her hands full tomorrow against this woman, Lilith. And the bell rings. And oh! And oh! Lauren Sanchez now getting beaten down here. Oh my god. Another slam to the mat, now is a shot. And yes, Lilith connects. My god. Lilith's just being so dangerous and dominant right now. Oh, Lilith now. Oh, and oh my god, and a cover. It's Lilith with a dominating victory. My god, that was just decimating. Lilith just showing the world how dangerous she is. And saying, pretty much saying that she's going to take that women's title from Kissable Demon tomorrow at Battle Wars. Like I said, good luck to Kissable Demon trying to take down this woman. Because by far, I think we will have a new women's champion if... Lilith shows dominance like this each time. But anyway, on to the next matchup. Go a tag team match. Chris Danger teaming up with Bulldog Bison, taking on the team of Shane Cannon and Ninja Soldier, the Brotherhood, former NSPW tag champions, where they're getting their rematch tomorrow at Battle Wars against Keith and Harry, the United Kingdom, the newly crowned tag champions. Chris Danger, former NSPW World Champion, the first man to ever win it.
There they are, Shane Cannon, Ninja Soldier, the Brotherhood, former NSPW Tag Team Champions, and the first competitors to win them. Excuse me. And at a combined weight of 847 pounds, the Brotherhood. Here we go. Fellas on the way and Shane Cannon starts off with a drop kick. And hi. German suplex by Shane Cannon, the Bulldog Bison, oh my lord. Shane Cannon's not really a happy bunny because not only that he's he lost his tag titles, lost his tag team on the finish streak, lost the tag team titles, and he lost his one on one on the finish streak. So this man is no longer undefeated. So he's not a happy man about the hell and oh my god almighty. I don't know another drop kick, holy cow! And another German! Shane Cannon knocks down Chris Danger. And oh! Reversal though by Shane Cannon! Oh! And the man who actually ended the Shane Cannon's one on one streak. On the fit one on one on the finish trick was actually Chris Danger at the tournament. And oh, Shane Cannon tags in Ninja Soldier, the owner of the promotion. It's actually quite hard, it's actually quite mad. Ninja Soldier, right? He's the promoter of NSPW, the owner of this company, but yes, he is only won the tag belts he's never won a single title the global title or the world title but hopefully in the future he will then again Shane Cannon has never been a world champion or the global champion either but then again Shane Cannon does have a future title opportunity because he won the first ever men's mega rumble match so after the pay-per-view battle war, Shane Cannon will get the title opportunity against either Brian Munson or Broken Mike at the biggest pay-per-view ever. And no, it doesn't have a name yet, but anyway. And Chris Danger, what's he doing? Oh, he's got Chris Danger getting a weapon. He's got a Tindo stick. But oh, oh! Now Ninja Soldier has got the Kindo stick and oh! Rats it off the back of Chris Danger. And he broke it off his back. Holy cow. And. Boom! Bulldog Bison gets tagged back in by Chris Danger now. And oh, the clothesline! Bulldog Bison just stood there. And, oh. And, oh. Cover. Bulldog Bison is eliminated, has been eliminated from the match. Oh, danger though! 
taste of danger out of nowhere. Reversed up by Ninja Soldier now, and Ninja Soldier getting back into the ring there. Chris Danger with another Kindle stick. Oh no, no, and ow! Oh. oh, and onto the head of Danger. Oh! Ooh. Shane Cannon gets back into the ring now. He's been tagged in. Oh my god! And a lariat! My lord! Shane Cannon's gonna go for it there. Go for it for the loose cannon power bomb. Where's he going? Oh, he's going to the top rope. He's going to the top rope. And oh, knockout! Cat Shane Cannon has knocked out Chris Danger, and the match is over. Now these two mean bitches now. Keith and Harry. Oh, that's, we better wish them luck tomorrow when they defend their tag titles against two, these two monsters of men. Shane Cannon, Ninja Soldier, the Brotherhood. They reckon they will get those tag titles back. So good luck to the four competitors tomorrow at Battle Wars. But anyway, on to the next matchup. The Omega versus Damian Hill. Kenny Omega really needs to get a W because he is losing a lot lately. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from North Carolina, weighing in at 218 pounds, Kenny Omega! <laughs> <clears throat> mm. And his opponent from Jacksonville, Florida, weighing in at 175 pounds, Damien Hill! Damien Hill making his way to the ring. The match is on the ring. Oh, and Damien Hill starts off with a spear. Oh. Oh my god, that is absolutely insane. I don't know. Oh, what's this? Damien Hill now. Oh! Oh, Kenny Omega no kicks out. Damian Hill was hoping for a quick victory there. And oh! Oh! A spear again! Oh my god! Rolling thunder, oh my god. Oh, 
Oh! Damien Hill now. Oh! It's over again now! And Kenny Omega suffers another L in SPW. Oh my god. Here is your winner, Damien Hill. Damien Hill, the victor here tonight. And Kenny Omega suffers another L. We don't know what's been going on with Kenny Omega lately. He's been slacking here in NSPW. And it's, and it's not looking good for Kenny Omega's NSPW career. What's going to happen tomorrow? Is he going to be used in Battle Wars now after this L? We don't know. But anyway, on to the next matchup anyway, ladies and gentlemen. And congratulations to Damian Hill. Here we are, Raider Rage taking on Marco Estrada. Now, before the pay per view, Marco Estrada is actually defending his title against Raider Rage before tomorrow's pay per view. Marco Estrada, if he actually retain, if he does retain, if he does retain the title here tonight, then he will be taking on and defending his title against the former champion AJ Wolf. So. Hence why Marco Estrada wants to defend the title here tonight to prove that he can actually retain it against AJ Wolf at Battle Wars tomorrow. So Marco's giving Raider Rage the opportunity here. And here he is, Marco Estrada. He calls himself Marco the Champ. Here we have it here. Introducing the challenger from the United States of America, weighing in at 200. And here we go. Raider Rage and starts off with a super kick to the face. Reversal by Marco Estrada now. And oh! And oh! And again! Oh! And oh, boy, when I get a ball by Marco Estrada now, and oh, on, oh, oh, my God, and oh. Marco Estrada just showing some impressive and um, stuff here. And again, oh! Oh, dog! Oh my god! Marco Estrada going for the pedigree. Oh my god.
And Marco again with another Alabama slam. Oh my god. Oh. Marco Estrada now. Oh no. Ow. Rage is down again. What's Marco Estrada going to do now? He's on the top. He's on the top turn buckle now. What's he going to go for? And a moonsault. Holy moly. Oh. Here we go. Oh. And again. Oh, God. And a cover now. And Marco Estrada retains. So, therefore, the match between him and AJ Wolf at Battle Worlds tomorrow is still happening. He can still call himself Marco the Champ. My God. Marco Estrada, very, very, very impressive. And looks like his match still with AJ Wolf is still happening tomorrow for the global title. And speaking of AJ Wolf, he's actually in action next. So here we go. And here we are. AJ Wolf is in action now against MJF. Bella's on the ring now and oh Spyball scored that quickly holy crap and a kick up though by MGF oh AJ now and no now MJF has been suffering a load of losses also so we don't know what's going on with him lately him and both him and Kenny Omega are both slacking when it comes to W's now and oh my god AJ Wolf the reverses again MJF was, try was trying to go for his finisher there and oh and and again oh my god to the face and not a spine buster at all AJ Wolf is not done and oh what's this now and oh Now to finish it now and oh! MJF though kicks out again holy cow MJF is not giving up oh MJF now going for his finisher now, and oh, he finally connects with it though, and a cover, and a kick out though by AJ. 
Oh. And he's going for it again now. Oh, oh! Cover again now to end the match. And AJ Wolf gets the W, and MJF suffers another L. Here is your winner, AJ Wolf. My God. AJ Wolf is ready for tomorrow. He's ready for Battle Wars. He's ready for Marco Estrada. And he's ready to try and take back the title, the Global Championship. Will AJ Wolf become the first ever two time Global Champion? We shall see tomorrow at Battle Wars. But anyway, anyway, now on to the main event. We just got an update there that Brian Munson is actually okay. And he's going to be in main event action. But there's going to be a twist. There's going to be a twist. He's going to main event the, the show, yes. But to prove that he is so dominant and to prove that he's a dangerous son of a gun, he wants to be in a handicap match against Harry and Keith, the United Kingdom. And that's going to be the main event. We just got word that Brian Munson wants that just to prove not only to us but to Broken Mike that he is a dangerous son of a gun. But anyway, here we go. In event, handicap match, what Brian Munson wanted against the United Kingdom, the tag team champions. The United Kingdom, Harry and Keith. The following contest is a handicap match. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 250 pounds, the undisputed Impact World Heavyweight Champion, the Savior, Brian Munson. Brian Munson got got rewarded a brand new title to unify those two titles the impact title and world title so myself ninja soldier the promoter has rewarded him this title to merge two titles into one and that is a beautiful looking title Warren Munson said he wants to prove that he can, that he's able to do this. He wants to show Broken Mike what he's capable of. And he's going to do that by being in this handicap match against these two men here. The tag team champions, the United Kingdom, Harry and Keith. The world tag team champions, the United Here we go then. No! no! Oh! Brian Munson's down now. Oh! No. Reversal now for Brian Munson now. Oh! Kick to the face now into some sort of a German suplex now, is it? Yes, so oh. oh and oh my god. And Munson just knocks down Harry. Oh and oh my god!
And oh. Baramonson just being so vicious now, and now oh! he's here to prove. He can prove. He's try he's here to prove that he can do this. Even though he's a little bit injured after the attack that Broken Mike did on him at the before the show. But he can do And Munson just hit the referee. Brian Munson just hit the referee Charles Robinson. But the referee's not doing anything about it. Oh. And again, oh! And, oh! Harry gets tagged in now. But, oh! Knocks down Munson. But Brian Munson will first us now. Oh! Harry now and and oh, where I was just gets back up like it was absolutely nothing. And, oh, oh, Harry just punches Brian. I'm Keith now. Knocks down Brian again and then goes to the cover. Kick out by Brian and Munson though. And again, oh! Oh! And reversal again, yes! Fist by Keith. Oh, and Harry's down again. Oh no, oh no, oh, he could have broken his neck. Monson is going to go for that GTS and he does. Oh no, Harry reverses. Oh my God. I don't know why Brian Munson came up with this idea why by wanting to be in this handicap match because not only that, but he's on the finish streak, he's on the line here. And he is still hurt from what Broken Mike did for him before the show started. On oh, a super kick! And oh! Oh no! Oh, he's trying, he's trying to break Harry's neck. And oh, he connects with it this time. Cover. But Harry kicks out. And oh! Oh! Brian Munson tried to run away from that, but... Failed, and a kick out again. 
And a reversal again by Brian Munson. And a hole. GTS now from for Keith now and connects with it. And I ah, one for Keith now and a cover again. And Playmons have actually done it. Munson actually did it even though he's still hurt from earlier from broken Mike, but he actually managed he actually crested his handicap match and he actually won it even though he's kind of injured from what broken Mike done to him after the show not after before the show sorry holy cow Brian Munson though still undefeated but will he be under will he still be undefeated tomorrow Will he still be undefeated tomorrow? My lord. Actually, we just got word here. Brian Munson actually wants to say something. He has, he wants to answer Broken Mike's last man standing challenge. Will he accept or not? We're going to find out right now. So, Broken Mike, you've challenged me to a last man standing match, huh? tomorrow at Battle Wars for the undisputed Impact World Championship. <laughs> you have no idea what you've got yourself into, mate. Because I accept. Now, when it comes to this last man standing match, so Mike, there will be no rules. And you know that yourself because you're the one who wanted this. I am going to decap to decapitate you, I am going to punish you. I'm going to show you what I'm capable of tomorrow night at Battle Wars. So yes, I challenge. I accept the last man standing challenge. See you tomorrow, boy. Cause I am going to beat the holy crap out of you. Holy hell! And there you have it. So it's now official. Brian Munson versus Broken Mike in a last man standing match. For the undisputed Impact World Heavyweight Championship at Battle Wars. It's going to be brutal. But anyway, I'm going to go, guys. This has been a hell of a show. And yes, it's been your boy Ninja Soldier. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. If you're new, hit that subscribe or follow button or whatever you like to call it. And I'll see you guys on the next episode, stream, podcast, premiere, etc. And see you guys. Ninja Vanish. Bye bye. And take care. And see you tomorrow at. Battle Wars.